Hello, this is Patrick at one CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is pick up where we last left off and create some different surfaces here. In this example, let's start off with creating a surface from curves. So I'm going to turn these two layers off, turn this layer on, I'm going to left click it so it becomes active as well. Let's zoom in on this. So a surface from curves creates a surface from a closed boundary. Now the only prerequisite is that this closed boundary is flat. It can be at any angle or located on any construction plane as long as it's flat. It's very simple. Just take your cursor into the command manager, select surface from curves, left hand click and then right click and that's it. Very, very simple. Let me give you another example of surface from curves. Let's turn this layer off, turn this layer on. Again, I'm going to left click the layer to activate it. All right, so now I have two closed boundaries. So you can definitely work with multiple closed boundaries. So back into the command manager, surface from curves, it doesn't matter which one of these closed boundaries we select first, just left click, left click, and when you're done, right hand mouse click. Very, very good. All right, so let's turn on our layers and see what we have so far. All right, now this looks pretty good except there's something that I think we need to do. Let's create a fillet between these two surfaces right here. To do that, head back into the command manager, but this time you want to select your model tools. From there, select fillet, and within the fillet dialog box, select fillet between two surfaces, blend. Blend simply means that one CNC will trim the surfaces. I'm going to make the radius a little smaller. Let's make that 125 thousandths. We'll click OK. I'm going to left click this surface first, though it really doesn't matter which one you select first, but I'm going to left click here. As soon as I do that, you're going to see these little lines. Now, these lines need to point in the direction of the fillet. Now, these lines are pointed to the outside, and I don't want the fillet on the outside. So where it says side OK, I'm going to click No. Notice how the lines are now pointing inside. That's exactly what I want, so I'm going to click yes to that. Now I'm going to select the second surface, left click, and just like before, we're going to have these little indicator lines. Now these are pointing on the outside, and I don't want that, so I'm going to say side OK, no. And now they're pointing on the inside, so I can click yes to that, and there's our surface. Now the reason that this surface is a different color is because this surface is the result of a combination of multiple surfaces. Whereas these blue surfaces were created by simply creating, for example, a cross-sectional surface or a closed surface or a rotational surface. If you want to, you can give your surface a different color, though you don't have to to apply toolpath. But if you want to, it's simple. You can just left click and from there go down to your alter tool and where it says color, just select any color that you'd like. We'll click OK to that, and there we go. If you'd like to learn more about surfaces, click on the video in the upper right-hand corner.